jij. Onze keuze leidt soms ook tot ruzie met onze ouders of vrienden. Ook wij worstelen met de vooroordelen van anderen. Leders. Tienervaders. Makkelijke meisjes. En druk van de verwachtingen thuis. Toch maken we onze eigen keuzes en worden daar sterker van. Tell us this girl I met. She was so beautiful. I mean beautiful than you can ever imagine. It was by the time the day we met. When I was trying to hang out with my cousin. I saw her and I went to her. I asked her if I could get to know her. It was like it's okay, we can get to know each other. So I took her phone number. We both went home. I called her that very evening. And I was like if she could come over the next day. It was like it's okay, she could come over. When she came to my house the next day, we were talking. Talked about her, talked about me. And we were laughing. So I made an attempt on trying to have sex with her. So I did, I did succeed. It. So I took her home. I called her again that very first day. We could hang out. But she did. She came to my house the next day. And I took her to the very first place where we first met. And we were hanging there. We were really in love. Never like before. And I was really happy about it. So after a while, I began, I began to notice some certain things about her. I noticed that she, was, she wasn't 100% normal, she was ill. I tried to ask her what's wrong with her, what her, what her illness was, and she wasn't saying anything. It was like she doesn't want to talk about it. And that was how it was, after a little time, when she traveled. I was out of the city. So I tried to contact her several times. I tried to call her, I sent her XMA several times. She wasn't picking my calls, she wasn't replying my XMA. To wonder what was happening. And it was just like that, I couldn't reach her. And it took me a little while to know that, to find out she was back in town, then she was back to the city. So I went to her house, just to know what has been happening, why she hasn't been calling me. But I couldn't find her. I found a neighbor instead. And I was told by the neighbor that she was here. She's suffering from HIV. And she's at the hospital right now. She was like, I shouldn't tell anyone about it. I was, I was baffled. I was confused. I was like, why didn't she tell me this at the first place? Am I hearing from someone else? I didn't go to the hospital to see her. I was angry. I wonder why she didn't tell me. I don't know, I don't know if she might be shy or something, but I was just mad and I was angry about it because she lied to me at the first place. Well, I'm just happy because when I was very young, I was see my cousins with protection and took the first step, so I had sex with her with protection. I must thank God for that, because I'm still standing. Ik liep vroeger heel veel achter anderen aan. Ik deed veel dingen om erbij te horen. Zo had ik het gevoel dat ik een van de popiopen zat. Dus ik deed die kuppel. En ik had vriendjes waar ik niks op gaf. En ik zette me af tegen mijn moeder. Echt pubergedrag zou ik zeggen. Maar waarom deed ik zo? 
Ik wou niet gepest worden omdat ik iets beter was in het leren of omdat ik zwart ben. Dus ik ging mezelf steeds meer verlagen. Af en toe voelde ik mezelf slaag dan een kakkenak. Meningen van anderen waren echt belangrijk voor mij. Zelfs mijn eigen mening deed af en toe niet meer toe. Maar gelukkig voor mij heeft mijn moeder me uit deze situatie gehaald. Ik ging naar een andere school. En in het begin werd ik daar ook gepest. Want als je belangrijk wil zijn, als je populair wilt zijn, dan moet je naar ja, kleding dragen, roken, drinken, streng dragen. Noem maar op. Allemaal dingen waaraan je moet voldoen wil je niet gepest worden. Ik was op een dag gewoon crazy opgestaan. En ik was naar school gegaan met een doorschijnend halte top. <laughs> Zo de BH. En hoge hakken en een lage broek. En een streng dag gewoon echt 10 kilometer bovenuit. En ik vroeg aan de popies, is dit wat jullie willen? Zijn jullie nu tevreden? Vanaf die dag werd ik gewoon geaccepteerd voor wie ik ben. Want ik hoef niet een vriend te hebben om erbij te horen. Ik hoef niet te drinken en ik hoef ook niet te roken. Want oh, ik ben ik. Tegen de lieve. Ik ben altijd aardig geweest tegen Anne. Maar met alleen aardig zijn kom je niet ver.